What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna talk about all the running shoes I run in, make it nice and quick and short, and I'll recommend you what I think is best for these certain distances, but it's also come down to my preference. It doesn't mean it's the best or it's the correct one. There's no perfect running shoes. I think there's a perfect running shoes for each individual, but not for everybody. So let's get straight into it. So I've ran, in, I've ran in Nike, I've been running every day for the last four years and going strong and for those who are new and I just ran across the United States but with all this running time that I've had, I've had the ability and was grateful enough to be able to wear Nike, Adidas, uh, Solomon, Hoka, uh, Saucony, uh, Brooks and I think that's it, those are the running brands. Let me know any other running shoes that you've run in that I haven't mentioned. I know I have on running shoes, but I haven't had the opportunity yet to put it to the test. I've had running shoes from APL. I haven't had the opportunity to put it to the test. But my favorite ones, I'm gonna talk to you about all of them. So if when it comes to the typical daily everything, I gotta start with my love. My love for the, the running company right now that I've been using, the running brand, Hoka. That's what I've been using consistently. I'm not paid, this is not a sponsored video at all, not paid to say any of this, but there's something about Hoka that I fell in love with after I started using it a year ago. I didn't like the Clifton 6, I wasn't a fan of it. And then later on with other shoes coming out and I put them to the test. My favorite running Hoka shoes of all time within a year of running in Hoka is the Mach 4, y'all. The Mach 4 is so good because there's something about it that it has enough cushioning, plushness, but it's not too much that it's like, okay, I'm not getting any energy back from the ground. It has a little bit of firm into it. I think it's the perfect daily running shoes, training shoes, and you can probably race in this. I've never done any racing in them, but I feel like I can fly in them. I feel like I can just coast and cruise. So Mark IV is it for me for Hoka right now. And since we're on the topic of Hoka, I'm just gonna show you the, the Hoka shoes that I prefer. Um, the Rincon 2, this is the Rincon 2. So funny story, I want to run Leadville 100, pace it with Robbie Ballinger. That's the previous video if you guys have seen. So I have trail running shoes, I have two of them. Um, I got the Nike and I got the Solomon. So the Nike is the Wild Horse 6, but the thing is that's too tight on my feet now from the transcontinental, my feet doesn't fit in it. And I had just gotten the Solomon Ultra Glide from Solomon. I feel like that was too tight on my toe area, even though the shoe was much more comfortable than the Wild Horse 6. So, it was risky for me to not have trail shoes on, but the best decision was not to wear one because it was gonna mess up my feet since it wasn't the perfect size. So I took the risk of wearing the Rincon 2 on Leadville 100, y'all. But because the reason I, I was comfortable doing that, I saw some people wearing some now trail shoes. And the funny thing is, guys, I still got dirt in it from the, the race. You see this? So this shoe is a shoe that I feel like you can run in a race with it because it's light enough, but also soft enough if you wanna go for a longer distance. I believe that personally and it ended up working on a trail for some reason I wasn't slipping and sliding it wasn't muddy but it was very gravelly at many areas of Leadville 100 okay while we're at it if you want to run fast in a marathon distance or something I recommend the Rocket X it has carbon plates underneath it I think this shoe is very fast but it's very uncomfortable it only works well when you're going fast I think every time the first time I wore the Rocket X I'm running, I'm like, how come this is not what I thought it was, what people are talking about? But when I started picking up speed, eventually wearing it, it worked perfectly. So whenever I went to run with Roberta Bronner, fast marathoner, and I would have their shoes on, and I'm like, oh, I see why this shoes works well. So for that reason, I think it'd be perfect ratios like a marathon and so forth. Um, let's move on to Sokoni. Speaking of the speed shoes, um, I think the, the Endorphin Pro is awesome, but it wasn't my perfect shoes until they came with the Pro 2. The Pro 2 was much better because the Pro, the first one, I felt like my feet was rolling off of the sole of the shoes. And, I feel, and this one, definitely they fixed it. And it's a fast shoes. I think I'd recommend it for any 5K races. Also with the, the Endorphin Speed 2, fast, fast 5K, you want to break some PR or even a marathon. They're very good for that fast run, you get the energy back. The way the shoe is designed, you get like a nice roll back each stride. Those are for Saucony and with the Nike, it's the Pegasus. Where's my Pegasus? Pegasus right here. The Pegasus has been my favorite Nike, but the Pegasus 38, I'm kind of like a little disappointed with it. Pegasus 37, I think is the best running Nike. I feel like it's my cheat shoes. Whenever I had the 37 on, I get this energy back that it's easy, it makes the run much easier. This one has a nice cushioning, but I feel like they made the material on top and the, the tongue 
everything so thick. It's so thick. Let me know what you guys think about that. I feel like the Pegasus 37 had a better, lighter material on top in the tongue area versus the 38. But it's still fun shoes to run with. And we got the Wild Horse, uh, the Wild Horse 6. This is the trail one I've been talking about earlier. This is very good on trail, but when I got the Solomon Ultra Glide, this was the softest trail shoes ever for me because it's my only trail shoes. Because you can even tell how the the padding on this has just, it's, you can just see it squeezing it. It's just perfect, it has a grip for you. And I love that it's laceless. You can just like tighten everything based on this string here. But the only downside for this, I had to upgrade that. I had to go on a bigger size and I didn't have that on time to put it to the test. Adidas, this is the most affordable shoes I've ever seen. That's a running shoes, the Pure Boost. Um, so this is like, Maybe your crazy runner might not want this, but someone who want to have a comfortable daily run, I think this shoe is really perfect and it's really cheap and I love this. It's one of my favorite shoes of all time. I've had like three pairs of these, put it to, to run and I wear it daily too at some point. So that's the Adidas Pure Boost. And then now, oh, I got a little surprise for you guys. You guys ready for this? Two surprises. So, <laughs> these shoes are really cool. Check this out guys, this is the Brooks Aurora. So this shoe is supposed to have like some kind of nitrogen technology. I don't even know what it is. I feel like it looks so dope. I just wear it right. I never ran in it. So shout out to my friend Brian for hooking it up. It's a walking daily casual shoes for me. Let me know if you ever run in one of these. I feel like it's not even supposed to be running shoes. It's supposed to be like something to wear. I'm scared to even try it. And the surprise, second surprise is the brand new Bandai X from Hoka. This has carbon plates. I don't know why they put carbon plates in it. I just love the design. It's light. The Bondi 7, not a fan. I tried to use it across the transcontinent or run. I felt like it was too high up and I didn't think it was soft enough based on how, how much thickness was on the sole. It wasn't soft and it was just thick and not soft. And I think that wasn't really fun for me and I wore other hookahs during the transcontinental and tried other shoes out. So this is really cool. I think that it's not sponsored again, but I'm pretty sure this comes out October. And uh, if you're looking for running shoes, what I want to say is go test something out. Obviously, first, that's not expensive, but also you got to be mindful because if you go too cheap, you can have something that can hurt you. So the, 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 the reason you're able to get up and go run every day or every other day is having proper footing because if you have that, that's going to prevent a lot of injuries, a lot of like tiredness on your leg, heaviness, just to observe some of those shocks that you're hitting the pavement every single day. But also, it doesn't mean you have to go break the bank to get running shoes. And I think it's one of those things where you can just find the perfect fit. So for me, if I have to pick a shoe to run every single day, daily, and I can't change it, it'll be the Hoka Mach 4. That's a bold statement right there, but I truly feel like I could run in that, unless if something else come out. And if I had to pick a second one that's not a Hoka shoe to wear every day, um, if, if I ran in it, if it's not Hoka, let's say for Nike, it would be the Pegasus 37, which is also a race shoes and a training shoes. And um, one more brand, if I had to, let's go for each, each other brand, I guess. Hoka would be Mach 4, of all time, of all shoes anyway. Hoka or not, Mach 4. But if it's outside of Hoka, if it's um, Nike, Pegasus 37. If it's Saucony, I would say the Pro, the Endorphin Pro 2, 2. Not the first one. And if it's Adidas, Pure Boost, Pure Boost is, I tried the Ultra Boost. I don't even think they're, I ran the marathon in that somehow. Um, but pure boost for Adidas and Brooks. Brooks, this is the, what is it called? Uh, Glycerin 19. Glycerin 19, I don't have it with me right now, but this is the shoes right after the Transcontinental. My legs were heavy and I found these shoes that, uh, I mean, Brooks sent it to me and I wore it. I'm like, oh, this is actually could be an ultra shoes. It's very heavy, but it's very comfortable. And if it's every day, why not? And it, I feel like it has a long duration life span to it, the way it's built. So the Glycerin 19 for Brooks. Um, yeah, I think that is it. Any question, let me know. You have, leave the comments below. Let me know any running qu shoes question. And also, I was thinking, how cool would it be? This is a project idea. Pick one specific shoe. You guys pick the shoes that you want me to wear, and I'm going to wear it for 30 days. The same shoes. And I'll be mindful of my body so I won't get injured. So let me know in the comments below a specific shoe that you guys want me to test out put as many miles as I can on it till I can't and let you know what I think about it. Maybe we'll do the same thing with outfits. I'm thinking about the Gymshark running stuff that I wear. Um, that's what I wear, I'm sponsored by Gymshark. So let me know what you guys want me to do with the shoes. 
and running outfit so I can tell you exactly how it is and tell you my honest opinion about it. Thank you so much for watching this video. I love you guys. I'll see you soon and uh, hello good run call coming near you. If you follow me on Instagram, you should know we're getting together and running together. Let's get it. Let's go.